The sun comes up about two minutes after seven o'clock this morning. We'll stay in the 40s until that sun comes up. Overhead sunshine into 10 a.m. has 63 degrees. One o'clock in the afternoon, 74 and 4 p.m. 76 degrees. We'll still hold on to those upper 60s if you do want to have a little dinner out back tonight. A little backyard barbecue never hurt anybody with this beautiful fall weather. OK, here's the deal. Right now we're looking at the radar. We see a batch of rain from Chicago to St. Louis. I'm mentioning it because that's really the only thing you can see with a quick moving surface front. That's going to make its way into central Alabama t by tonight. Clear skies until then. That thin band of cloud cover that you see right here around 11 p.m. this evening around 2059, that's the quick moving front that allows cooler temperatures to filter in for Monday morning. Also dry. So Monday, Tuesday, most of Wednesday will be dry. Our next weather feature will begin to build out to our west as we head towards uh, Wednesday afternoon, so it really has some development to happen by Tuesday, and I expect to see this system kind of dragging mostly into Thursday, and that will make most folks on Halloween pretty happy. It'll just be a tad on the warm side, but I would pick warmth over rain for trick or treaters, right? 42 degrees right now in Coleman, 40 in Gadsden, 41 in Pell City, in Tuscaloosa. You're going to see those 80s today in some spots around the Tuscaloosa River Walk. 81 degrees by 4 o'clock in the afternoon and about 70 degrees by 7. So here's your seven day forecast. I did pinpoint uh, Wednesday. I wanted to show you a couple of things. It will be warmer today with a high of 77. Great day for all things outdoors today. 72 degrees and sunny on Monday afternoon and then we warm up just a bit after a chilly morning on Tuesday. Now here's a Halloween Wednesday. We expect those showers late and when I say late, I mean a lot closer to about uh, 10, maybe even 11 o'clock. But check this out. The actual line of showers and storms that moves in around 11 a.m. on Thursday and then that front will start to exit by Thursday night. So it's a real quick mover, folks, but mainly impacting after about 10 or 11 o'clock at night and then making its way into Thursday. That'll be our impact day.